can't think of anything witty to say today. Hey everybody, this is Zivok. You're just in time for Let's Play as the Jada Ocarina of Time. Oh, it's gonna be a mouthful to say, though I'm pretty sure it's not the biggest thing I've ever said. Anyway, in the last episode, we uh, started the Deku Tree, uh, Deku Tree Dungeon, going through the Deku Tree and trying to fix them and all that stuff, and because he's sick and all that other nasty stuff. He's got a bug and we've got to, we've got to kill it, so yeah. <laughs> and in this episode, we're gonna, actually, speaking of bugs... Oh, never mind. Uh, basically, what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to get that uh, fire over there and light this the web on fire. And as you can tell, I kind of stuck these controls. Um, though, if you ask, though, if you ask me personally, I'd say it's really the age of the controls and you know all that other stuff that shows that I just really stuck at the game. <coughs> <coughs> description will hide in the grass, get close to it, bounce nuts, back in it, yeah. Um, pretty much like I said yesterday, yeah, I think I failed to mention the, uh, hiding in, hiding when you get close to them so you can't hit them. Anyway, this guy, uh, he'll teach us something cool. They never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is, two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. Do you think I'm a traitor? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, right here we get our first instance of an eye switch. Um, basically, drop your, uh, drop a sli use a slingshot, excuse me, on it, not uh, drop a slingshot. Oh uh, boy, here we go with Nav again. Um, she's basically telling you how, how you can dive under water. Though, actually, I didn't need it right there because I've got the mad skills to. Actually, oh, okay, yeah, we do need it. We do need to use it. Um, basically, you see where the action icon changes to dive. You just press an old A. And that's it. Um, right here you got your first instance of a time... No, it's not our first instance, it's like our second instance of a time puzzle. This is the first one where you hear the clock. <coughs> unfortunately, the clock... Unfortunately, the time in this one is very generous compared to some of the others. Though, it kind of has to be. Right there we get another skeleton. Um, as I said, as I said before, the other instances these guys are in, they don't, they don't hang from the ceiling, they just kinda... Oh my god, Navi, just shut up! <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Basically, she's telling us how we can move this block by pushing up in a... Actually, no. Do that. Um, I'll get into this in a minute. Like, right here, you can't... Some, blo some blocks you can just push without pressing anything. But this one, um, as you can tell, it goes from grab to climb. Um, if you push it up against it, it goes to climb and it lets you climb up it. Otherwise, you just grab hold and push in the direction you want to go. Um, actually, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking the... Just push doesn't exist in this game. I think I'm pretty sure I've seen it before. Could be wrong. Anyway, um, well, actually, one thing I should mention: if you want to get more decky sticks from these guys, just use a decky nut on them. That always fixes things. And right there. So we got a decky stick. Yay! For more of them. Um, basically we just need to light these torches, and put away our decking stick so we don't waste it. <laughs> just love that about this game. 
<laughs> this is like the only love game that actually has Deku sticks in it. All the others are using as items that you uh, pick up and then just throw, throw off once you're done with them. <coughs> Though, to be fair, Deku sticks in this game are kind of only used. Yeah, a couple times. I think in this dungeon is the most you see them used in. Oh, there we go. That's new to me. A Goma larvae. Once, look at once it gets ready to pounce. Yeah, these guys are not terrible. At all. One thing you can look at is if you look at their eyes, they change red right before they're about to strike. But if you hit them during that, they kind of back away. Two strikes kills them. And this one I'm not even gonna talk about that I'm not um not BA. Um is that all of them? Yeah, I think yeah, that's all of them. <coughs> um you can tell they you can tell that they're on the ceiling. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Otherwise I won't be looking up there. You know, do the one thing that no one in any horror movie ever thinks to do. Um Oh, I forgot the grass group were back there. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, that, that brings me up to another question. Like, in these horror movies, where you got these enemies, like, like Alien, like, I know Alien's probably not technically a horror movie. Um, at least I don't think it is. But anyway, in movies like that, where you got the evil bad guys that can walk on ceilings. <laughs> Why the hell are you not going to look up? <coughs> anyway, um, I need to go down this way into this hole. Just press A and enter. <laughs> I think I've already described that, though we've only been through one of these tunnels before. And I think this will be like the last time we're in that tunnel. In this tunnel. Um, yeah, we've been, we've been a lot of time in this dungeon already. For just being in a tree. So technically we're under we're under the tree at this point. Um so we're all, actually we're all, we are back in the main room here. Oh, well, below the main room. Well, technically this can be considered the main room now, because we're not gonna go back up at any Yeah, we're not gonna go back up into the deck through the tree and itself. But anyway, um let me see what else do we have here. Yeah. Right, go ahead and it. Yeah, I'm wondering if we can automatically tell if you're gonna get the either the Deku nuts or the Deku sticks. Is um you just look at the uh how many times it takes to kill the Deku Babas. And if it takes more than one strike, you're probably not gonna get the uh Probably not gonna get the sticks. But anyway, you just anyway, what we do here is just like some sticks and just drop here and get almost get hurt. <laughs> fortunately, fortunately, the thing about this game, you can get hurt falling down. But uh, um, you can get hurt falling from great heights. But if there's water, then you're okay. <coughs> So let's see here. What was the pattern? 23 is number 1. So 2, 3, and turning blue. And 1. And this guy starts moving around. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. Really? I wish more people were like that. <laughs> In order to administer the coup de ground, Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Okay, oh Queen, sorry about that. Hmm. Just remember, folks, all you gotta do is annoy people and they'll tell you anything you want. Of course, for all we know, they're lying. Right here, we're in the boss room of the dungeon, so we're that close to being the game. <sighs> Here was, and you can see up here in this 
version. I think originally it's supposed to be a darker room. I don't know why my settings like this. But basically, what you do to initiate the boss fight is you just look up at Queen Goma. And. There we go. Start the boss fight. Probably one of my favorite things to add to is Hashtag Armored Arachnid Goma. They add in the title. Um. Basically, what you should do is if you have Deck Knight, you can stun her. Uh, this when she's looking at you. <coughs> yeah, I think, I believe from quick enough, you can do that without her ever going into this phase. This is the second phase, I guess you can say, I'm not really sure I want to call it a phase. Um, I'm so messed up here, you're supposed to, yeah, you're supposed to shoot her with the, uh, boomerang, you know, not sit there like a idiot. Hey, you see a pattern here? 
Let's see if I can get us anything else. It's a rich soul who used all life forms to uphold the law. And happen to be also the green grass and the trees and all that other stuff. Hmm. Coincidence with their colors, maybe? <coughs> yeah, probably is. Yes. The three great goddesses, their labors complete, departed for the heavens. And golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world of providence. And the, res and the rest of the place of the triangles have become the sacred realm. You hear you that, kids? That's how the world was created. <laughs> Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart into the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death upon me, the death curse upon me, and sat my power. Because of that curse, my end is now. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. I, yes, I will pass away soon. But do not grieve me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Blink, now go to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast this curse upon you. Now that's one thing I never understood is... It's, it's, it's always convenient when the bad guys, or good guys for that matter, don't die immediately. Like, they have a prolonged of death. Like, Assassin's Creed, too, Assassin's Creed is terrible for doing that. Oh man, that was... <clears throat> anyway, we got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Now be the fairy, helping to carry out my will. Oh, don't worry, she won't. I entreat thee, Navi. Goodbye. <coughs> Die before you finish the sentence. I just give her my toad voice. Oh uh, boy, if I did that, my voice would be shot by the end of <laughs> by halfway through the episode. <clears throat> okay, and with that said, I think I'm gonna end the video off here for now with the good case on my face. Um uh, So yeah, in the next episode we'll we'll have to talk to Mito, so to progress forward. So we'll do that and then Head to high roll. Something no other Kokiri kid is able to do, apparently, because they'll die if they leave Kokiri Forest. Um, anyway, with all that said, I'll see you guys later.